Hello friends, press the subscribe button and hit the bell icon for more such easy videos. Let's understand a very important technique that is called as gram stain. This technique to stain the bacteria and study about the characteristics of bacteria was given by Christian Gram. There are different steps for gram stain. Let us take a slide and on this slide we are going to take bacteria and we are going to prepare a smear. So I can say this bacterial smear is dried and it is fixed by hitting it. You are hitting it by gentle flame, not in a high flame. Step number two, we are going to use crystal violet. That is the primary stain or even it is also known as gentian violet. Then we add mordant to it, which will be acting as a fixative. For mordant, we are add using grams iodine. Step number four, after adding grams iodine, decolorization has to be done. We are going to wash the slide in alcohol. 95% alcohol will be used. And after that, we will add the secondary stain that is normally saffronin. So it depends on the bacteria now which stain it will take. Whether it will take the crystal violet, the primary stain, or it will take the secondary stain that is saffronin. So whenever I talk about gram positive bacteria, you can see the crystal violet color. It means the bacteria has taken the primary stain. And this is saffron in color bacteria. It is gram negative. It simply means one thing. The bacteria that will take the primary stain is gram positive. And the one that will take the secondary stain is gram negative. So here you can see gram positive cocci, gram negative cocci. So the color is going to decide whether the bacteria is positive or negative. So to understand the staining technique, remember one thing, the one which takes crystal violet, that is the primary stain, is the gram-positive bacteria. And the one which takes the saffronin, the secondary stain, is considered as gram-negative bacteria. Christian Gram gave this technique and that's why it is called as gram-staining technique. All the gram-positive bacteria. Examples can be Streptococcus, Staphylococcus, we have Bacillus, we have Mycobacterium, we have Streptomyces, etc. The examples of gram negative bacteria is Salmonella, Typhi, basically typhoid bacteria, Pseudomonas, Escherichia coli, that is E. coli, we have Rhizobium, we have Helicobacter, etc. 